welcome to another edition of Club Brain Spotlight. I'm sitting with my pal Larry Podwell from iHeartRadio. We are CDC compliant. We're all used to this right uh, now. Danny, right? Danny. <laughs> what episode Great is this anyway? You. 11. Can you can you believe it? Wow. Hey, speaking of 11, okay, we started off with those tiger clubs at the zoo with episode one. Guess what? They're growing. Six months old, adorable, growing. In incredible. And we've got something for you Club Brayman members. We're going to be going over to the zoo. we got some special footage. Now, I understand you don't tell me you were at another restaurant. There was yet another family Italian restaurant. <laughs> I haven't gotten the restaurant yet. What, what is that? What? I probably toured the entire region of family Italian restaurants. I could tell you already but, gained uh, a few pounds there. <laughs> I'd like to at least diversify it a little bit, but uh, you're going to love this one. Uh, we went back to uh, Palm Beach Gardens, and I think you're going to uh, get a kick out of it. Well, check this out, all right? I was sent to a dentist. Well, no, wait, now wait a minute. Oh. I wasn't sent to the dentist, oh. but it's, oh. it's one of our BMW Club oh. Raymond members, and he's got a fabulous collection of BMWs. So he just so happens to be a dentist, but we're not going this to another one of your Indian town buddies? Uh, no. Well, we're going to go oh. over to his collection. I of, heard he's got uh, some collection of BMWs. It's some collection. Yeah. you got to see it. And I understand we got a flashback. Yet another flashback. We're going to go back uh, last summer again. I know it's one of your favorite parts of the show, but uh, we'll keep our uh, viewers surprised until we uh, show the segment. Well, you know something? Let's just get started. Palm Beach Zoo is one of the country's premier places to breed Malayan tigers. They were born sometime back in May, I believe, right? Yeah. And they are growing leaps and bounds. You got to see this footage. Check it out. Hi, I'm Mike Terrell, general curator at Palm Beach Zoo. The Malayan tigers that were born here around Mother's Day turned six months old on November 12th. When they were born, they were just the size of your hand, and now they've turned into 35-pound energetic youngsters. Palm Beach Zoo greatly appreciates Raymond Motor Car's support of our Malayan tiger habitat that led to these special births. Now, let's go see what the cubs are up to.
see the tiger cubs here at Palm Beach Zoo. And remember to wear your mask for your safety, the safety of others, and the safety of our Malayan tiger cubs. Wow. Six months old, adorable, rambunctious, 35 pounds already. 35 pounds. We saw the mama. Incredible what the zoo does with those Malayan uh, tigers. It, it, it's a great project. Uh, Brayman Motor Cars has been there for six years as a sponsor, and it is so heartwarming well, to see these little cubs grow. Fantastic. We love it. Yeah. One of our favorites. At the end of the show, we'll tell you how to win one of 20 prizes from Brayman Motor Cars. So you've already tested Lenore's of what I understand in this upcoming segment. Had a light bite last yeah, week. Yeah, let's watch you pigging out. Here's Larry Podwell over at Lenore's <laughs> restaurant. Check this out. Okay, Larry Podwell, Club Brayman Spotlight. It's Cafe Al Fresco today. Lenore's with Angelo. I think we can take these off now. CDC compliance. There we go. How are you doing today? I'm well, I'm well, thank you. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. Uh, Club Brayman Spotlight, Lenore's. We're at uh, Palm Beach Gardens. The uh, shops at Alton. And boy, what an exciting spot here. Look what you got behind us, yep. lunchtime. Yeah, very good. Yeah, we just, uh, we just opened uh, about, uh, uh, about eight months ago. Fantastic. And, um, so it's been going great. It's, uh, it's definitely one of our busier stores. And uh, you know, with everything, uh, uh, with this area just growing, it has become, um, we've, we've hit it pretty well in the sense of uh, you know, new attraction to the area. So we're That's very fantastic. excited. Right, I've been to West Palm. Uh, yeah. You're also up in Jupiter. Yes. Uh, you've got a market in West Palm Beach, and now fantastic news, being a Boca Raton resident, coming soon at the end of 2021 to uh, the new shops at Midtown and Boca. So excited. So we have one more location coming. Yeah, uh, Congratulations. Uptown in Boca, uh, uh, West Boca. Uh, we're hoping uh, to be open and uh, ready to serve uh, by the end of uh, next year. So Glad we're very, that. very excited. Good stuff. Yeah. Nice crowd today, lunchtime. Yeah. yeah. It's been good, you know, obviously with the pandemic and everything going on, it's, it's you know, we're still compliant, but at the, end, at the end of the day, you know, people still are going out. It, it, it has turned a little to where more people are going out, enjoying themselves, you know, and especially with the outdoor seating now, you know, yeah. you, we're keeping the tables uh, nice apart, and, uh, but it's, you know, I mean, we're in a new world, so uh, we're, we're trying to, uh, yes, we are. trying to make it work. Okay, well, yeah. sooner than later, hopefully sooner we can get later. back to normalcy, yeah. but certainly, how nice is this? Al fresco. This is great. We're going to step into the kitchen a little bit, yep. but uh, usually we do a cars and coffee. Okay. So today, uh, you know, pizza and coffee, pizza uh, and cars. Let, let's do a linguine today. A little linguine yeah, today? Yeah, we'll, we'll do, a, we'll do a, a white clam linguine sauce for you today. Can't beat that. Love it. <laughs> Tell us about uh, what you're driving now. I believe you got a Porsche yeah, from our so friends. Yeah, so I have a Cayenne. Uh, yep. So this is uh, this is my uh, second. Uh, actually, it's my third car from Bremen. So how about I start, that? I started with the uh, X5 uh, BMW, and uh, and then uh, about a year and a half ago, um, did the Cayenne, and I just uh, just stepped into a new Cayenne. So uh, exciting, great cars, great service, and uh, always great to have uh, to have you guys right there. Uh, they're so, the best. That yeah. Porsche showroom. Nothing like it. Uh, I mean, what they did with that new complex is absolutely above stunning. and beyond, yeah. state of the art, yeah. and that's how they do things there. And motor cars, outstanding, the service, and we've created this spotlight now for people like you, Angelo, just our our, our customers, and we're not at our events yet, unfortunately. Uh, but we've created this segment now to keep everybody engaged, and we thank you. Yeah, you no, know, it's customers. exciting. It's exciting to be part of the family, and uh, you know you're going to have a customer for life. So, uh, so I can't beat that. that. So we're excited. That's fantastic. We're going to go inside now to the kitchen, and uh, I hear some uh, linguine is in the works. So uh, we'll be right back. All right, let's go. Hey, how's it going? My name is uh, Mario Mitte. I'm the chef here at Linora Solchen Fabrics Garden. I'm going to make a nice uh, linguine bongo for you today. We're going to start with some uh, nice and fresh. Uh, uh, extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna put some fresh garlic. Yeah. We're gonna add some red pepper. That's when we're gonna put the clumps in. Fresh clumps. We're gonna add some uh, white wine. Reduce a little bit. A tiny bit of this stock, I'm going to cover, give a little bit of time for the clumps to open. Already some uh, linguine cooking, the 
Šio byrė dėmė tai, šiu. Šiu ir krams. Ta nice and open. Ta nice and open. We're gonna add the pasta. Nice al dente. We're gonna add some fresh sharp Italian parsley. A little drizzle of the extra virgin olive oil. That's it. Linguini white crumb sauce, the alinoras. Voila. What an absolutely delightful afternoon. Cocktails with my buddy Angelo. We're al fresco. We're here at the newest Lenoris. A delicious plate of pasta clams has just been brought out. Took a tour around this beauty, the bar area, the lounge area. What a home run this is going to be. All Club Raymond members, come on out. Angelo and his team will take great care of you. Wow. I don't know what else to say. Well, thank you so much for uh, you joining us. You guys nailed us. it. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us. We're, we're so excited to be part of the family with uh, Brayman, and uh, we're excited to be here. And, uh, you know, even with this pandemic, I, I think at the end of the day, you know, we're all here, you know, in, in one, and we're all going to, you know, get through this. But uh, we're, at, right now, we're going to enjoy some good food, and, uh, absolutely. and let's get going. Absolutely. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Salud. We're at Lenoris, gonna dig in. Beautiful way to kick off the weekend. Delicioso. Angelo, I thank you. We're at Lenoris, Alton Shops, Palm Beach Gardens, right off of Donald Ross Road. If you got no plans this weekend, or if you do have plans, break them, come to Lenoris. Yummy. The Abanate family has been synonymous with Italian food in South Florida for decades. I could see that you were enjoying it pretty well I as well. I enjoyed it as well, and uh, it, it was fantastic to catch up with uh, Angelo. Uh, served a delicious linguine with clam sauce. Yummy. Oh, loved it. Listen, but I, I got, got a surprise for you. What's that? In the trunk, I got uh, one of Angelo's t-shirts. What's it say on it? Legalized marinara. Oh. <laughs> I gotta be careful where I wear that. <laughs> well, let me tell you where I was at. Dr. Rasmi Akel from Big Smiles Dentistry. Oh. You got to see this guy's DDS. BMW collection. I've his heard. family's been buying cars from us for years, as well as his friends. Mm -hmm. But you're going to love this. Ready? I look forward to it. Watch this. Danny Bayard from Club Raymond Spotlight on location with Dr. Rasmi Appel. And we are in this fabulous facility. What do you call this facility? Well, it, it, the whole complex is called the hangars. Uh -huh. So we, it's uh, multiple units here. Uh, all the owners uh, own a unit to um, collect their, basically. Collect their, their cars. Co the cars, yeah. I'll tell you what, we talked about social distancing. We did the tape measure thing. We're CDC guideline approved. And I got to tell you, before we go talking about your automobiles, I've heard of your practice. It's very large. I understand you employ like 35 people. Tell us about your dentistry practice. Uh, well, yeah, I've been practicing dentistry for about uh, 19 years now. Uh, our office is called Perfect Smile Dentistry and Big Smile Dentistry. So okay. we have two, two offices, two different names. And what do you um, specialize in? We are general dentists. Uh, we see kids from three uh, all the way up, and we do all aspects of dentistry. So if I need a root canal or... Uh, Anything in general um, dentistry, I'm you the guys guy do for it. That. And you've got so. 35 staff. How many dentists altogether? Uh, between the three offices, we have five uh, dentists right now. Okay. And, and we have one specialist actually that does implants as well in our office. Now, I've always heard that weekends are a challenge with dentists. We are actually open every Saturday. All three offices are open Saturdays. So we accommodate emergencies and uh, any issues that you may have on the weekends. We are open. That's fair. We do actually also have our own on-site lab so if you have any emergencies that need you know immediate fixing 
we're there for you. I checked your Google ratings. They're way up there. I don't know if they can get any higher. Well, I, I hope we keep it that way. <laughs> so listen, if you need a dentist, right there on the screen are all the, uh, is the information with the website about the dentistry. But we're not here to talk about dentistry. We're actually here to talk about a fabulous collection of BMW automobiles. How did this come about? I, I, I'm, I'm literally awed. Uh, everything is car related. We got beautiful M furniture. We've got a clock on the wall with wheels that we're going to take a look at in a, in, in a few minutes. But tell me about these automobiles. Describe them a little bit and let the audience relish in them. Well, um BMWs have been always my favorite cars. Uh, since I was a little kid, my dad had a, a 318. Um, and the funny thing about it, the front windows were power and the back windows were all <laughs> manual. So weird, but, and I love that car. It was blue, and, and since then, I always developed this passion for BMWs. Uh, so I, I start looking basically for all the cars that were, uh, that were rare and my first car was a Z8. Ah. Uh, that I, my wife loves that car. It's what year? Things, it's, a, it's a 2001. Okay, so actually the first year, I believe, of that. Yeah, well, 2000, 2000 was the first, was first? Year. Okay. Yeah. So they made them from 2000 to 2003. Okay. Uh, so, and that was kind of my favorite car from the beginning. Uh, I cherished it. I kept it by itself in the garage. And is that the car we have right here? Absolutely. On display? Yep, that's okay. why it's up there on the... On the it's the number one. Yep. So we keep it up there above all others. So let's go in, in order of preference. So your preference, your number one love is that Z8. What's next? The second one is actually a 1972 3.0 CS. Uh -huh. I don't have it here because it is at the shop being restored. Uh, it's been a seven year project that I- Seven years? Seven years. What's been the challenge of that uh, project? Well, I didn't want to do a basic restoration, just cosmetics from the outside. I wanted to bring the car back to the way it came out from the factory. So wow. it, it was, it basically was stripped down to the bare metal and it's being put together. I can't wait to see that one. What's your third? The third one is actually an Alpina. Um, it's an eight series. It's a 1992 Alpina. Um, they made only 97 worldwide. And I have the only one in the United States. Wow, that's so. something to cry boasting about. So, okay, and um, then we go from there to? The, after that, uh, it's sister car, which is basically uh, same version, eight series, a 1994. It's an 850 CSI. Okay. Uh, that's basically the M at that time, the M version of BMW. Before they came out with the M, that's what they used to call them. 850 okay. CSI or all the CSIs were basically the M cars. All right. Uh, from there, I go to my kind of little uh, toy car, which is a Z1. I love that car. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> a, it's a fun car. Uh, the windows kind of go down into mm -hmm. the body. So it's, uh, uh, most people when they see it, they're like, where do the doors go? They, Kind of go down into Do you ever the body. take that car for a drive in the street? Uh, I haven't taken that car out because that car is a 1990 and only has 187 miles. Wow. So. 187 miles on it. a 1990, yep. 30 year old car. Yep. Incredible. Yeah, so. That's that a gem. was a, a find that I could not pass. I'm like, I have to have that car because. It is not just a classic car, but also a future collectible car. It certainly looks like it. So yeah, it's sure. brand new. The plastic's still on the mats, actually. So incredible. Where yeah. do we go from there? From there, we go to my recent purchase that I have, which is an M4 GTS, which I actually just uh, acquired that from Bremen. That's right. Uh, so uh, it's a uh, just starting the car is amazing. Just to see, to hear the engine roar, it's it's unbelievable. So. Uh, that's uh, one day I would like to take it on the track and see how the car performs. And what do you drive daily? Uh, my daily driver is an M8 competition. Uh -huh. um, it's, it's unbelievable the power that car has. Uh, I never push it on the streets. I am one of those people, yes, I do have these cars, but I don't abuse the roads. Well, you know what you have to do is you have to take it to our Club Bremen track events. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, you heard, but we have a professional race car driver. 
And when we resume our events, it, you're welcome to take it there. That's great. And also, by being a performance driver for Club Raymond, every Wednesday we're at the Palm Beach International Raceway. So be our guest, and that goes for anybody out there that has a competition sports car from Bremen. We're at the racetrack every Wednesday. Freddie Rimrav, our professional driver, is there, and he'll give you tips that you'll for sure. I actually look forward to that because I part of the car I got the M driving uh, package, uh -huh, uh -huh. so um, I can't wait until I go to South Carolina to do that one day uh, driving course that they do. Uh, unfortunately, it got postponed because of all the COVID, so I'm hoping that next year I'll be able to go ahead and do it. You'll love it for sure. Maybe take my son and the family and, and have them join me as well. That's so. great. That's great. Club Bremen members, I'm sitting with Razmi, and this has been a pleasure. Uh, I'm, I'm at a loft looking over fabulous uh, automobiles. I, I can't even imagine having all these automobiles uh, in my own collection. Uh, the setup is great, the, the living room is fabulous, a big screen TV. I mean, this is really nice. I congratulate you. Uh, it, it's got to be great. It, I mean, this is, you know, something I always want to have. I would love to have had this in my own house, mm -hmm. but, you know, space is always an issue. Right. So finding a place like this, the hangar, it was good because it's not just having the cars here, but also we have the social aspects of it. Everyone here is a car collector, right. so we have events where we do things. Uh, we just recently actually just came from Homestead where we had a track day and everyone kind of brought a car and we were on the track just ourselves having a good time. That's fabulous, so, that's fabulous. Yeah. Club Brayman members, another wonderful Club Brayman member that uh, I've interviewed. Uh, from uh, the Smiles, tell me about the practice again. The Perfect, smile, Perfect dentistry smiles dentistry and Big Smile Dentistry. And the car lover of BMWs. We'll see you next time, Danny Bayard on location. How'd you like that, Larry? A very impressive collection of Beamers. Did you notice that BMW Z1? I certainly did. And by the way, that doesn't only get good reviews, but the doctor gets good reviews on his dentistry as well. <laughs> hey, listen, we're going to be going <laughs> on to another Club Brain flashback right after this. The year-end sales event is on now at Brayman Motor Cars. Get Black Friday savings all month long on every Brayman Motor Cars vehicle. Over a thousand vehicles on six indoor floors. BMW, Mini, Porsche, and pre-owned cars from economy to exotic. Drive with zero down and 0.9% financing, in store or online, delivered right to your door. Get Black Friday savings all month long now at BraymanMotorCars.com, West Palm Beach and Jupiter. Got another flashback for you, Danny. National Croquet Facility. It's impressive. Largest in the world. Can you imagine? And great food. Yeah. Sandy James Catering is over there. We were there last summer. It was the summer of 2019. Seemed like an eternity ago. Club Bremen event. All of the Club Bremen members always love croquet. They love Check it. Check this out, guys. I'm Andrea and I'm here with Club Raymond TV. Today I'm here to tell you all about our croquet night with Club Raymond. Our Club Raymond members were able to go to the National Croquet Center here at West Palm Beach, Florida and it was so much fun. We had a little bit of rain but the rain never stopped the fun. We had five different teams with different instructors who were able to teach our Club Raymond members how to play croquet. It was so much fun and the food was delicious. So I hope you enjoy. Let's see how it was.
everyone was able to enjoy, even despite the little bit of rain, everybody was able to learn something new and enjoy the sport of croquet. Again, my name is Andrea Jara, and if you want to learn more about Club Raymond, make sure you check out www.clubraymond.com. Bye! Love that event. Croquet. It was a lot of fun. It was. So were all the Club Raymond events. Yeah, they were. They are. They will be. And, and they're coming uh, back. Bigger and better than ever when we get back to normalcy. Q1 2021, I promise. Great. Visit clubraymond.com to take the easy three-question quiz about this show to win one of 20 prizes. And before we go into the next episode, don't forget to pick up your copy of the Club Raymond magazine. If you haven't gotten it in the mail, pick it up at the dealership or go to clubraymond.com. Magazines on the top navigation menu, and it's fabulous with uh, Olympia Zuccarelli. Our friend Olympia Zuccarelli. Zuccarelli's restaurant. Fantastic. Next, oh, speaking of restaurants, another restaurant next week that we, we maybe you it or maybe you, I will It could review. be me. The assignment has not come through yet, but uh, it's uh, to be determined. Yeah, you've already done 90% of the restaurants. I got to eat. Also, I'm going to be going to Molly's Trolleys. All right, that's a whole other uh, thing going Trolley on. Trolley will take you right club, to the dentist. Yeah, no, 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 right, yeah, sure. <laughs> and another Club Bremen uh, edition. Uh, another flashback. Another flashback. All right, Great. so Club Bremen members, thanks for tuning in to this edition of Club Bremen Spotlight. My pal Larry Podwell uh, from iHeartRadio. A lot of fun, Danny. Danny Bayard, your host. We'll see you. You next guys time. be safe. Take care.